Welcome to the next part of the module, which covers the Java Reentrant Read-Write Lock class. This part provides a conceptual overview of readers' writer locks, explains how the Reentrant Read-Write class implements these concepts to provide readers' writer lock semantics to concurrent Java programs, and shows how Reentrant Read-Write locks are applied in Android. A readers' writer lock is a synchronization mechanism often used in situations where many threads can currently access the same shared resource at one time some reading and some writing, with the constraint that no thread may access the resource for reading or writing while another thread is in the act of writing to it, as described at this link. It allows access to a shared resource either by multiple threads that have read-only access or one thread that has write access. Readers' writer locks may help improve performance when resources are read much more often than written especially on multi-core and multi-processor platforms that can perform many computations in parallel, as described at this link. A loosely analogous human-known use of readers' writer locking is the protocol followed in formal political debates, such as the United States presidential debates described at this link, where only one person, the writer, is allowed to speak at a time, at least in theory. However, everyone in the audience, the readers, can listen to what the speaker is saying. Likewise, audience members can ask questions, thus becoming writers for the duration of their questions. Java provides readers writer locks via its reentrant read write lock class, which implements the read write lock interface as described at this link. Most of its implementation is written in Java as shown at this path name. Reentrant Reader Writer Lock contains two instances of inner classes, Reader Lock and Writer Lock, that implement the Read and Write Lock behaviors respectively. This diagram shows how multiple reader threads can acquire the Reader Lock and execute concurrently, whereas this diagram shows how just one writer can acquire the Write Lock and run at a time. Reentrant Read Write Lock uses the Gang of Four Bridge Pattern, described at this link, for several purposes. First, it inherits the bulk of its functionality from the abstract queued synchronizer class, described at this link, which provides a framework for implementing blocking locks and synchronizers that rely on first-in, first-out, or FIFO wait queues. Second, it implements a fair or non-fair lock acquisition order model via a common interface. Its constructor selects the designated model based on the fair parameter, similar to the reentrant lock presented earlier in this video. Its constructor also initializes the reader lock and writer lock data members that implement the lock interface and thus support the standard lock and unlock methods covered in the reentrant lock video. The key methods in reentrant reader writer lock are the read lock and write lock accessor methods that return the underlying reader lock and writer lock objects initialized in its constructor, which are used to acquire the lock for reading and writing respectively. To show how a Java Reentrant Read-Write Lock is used in Android, we'll analyze an example from the Bluetooth Socket class, which manages a connection to a Bluetooth device, as described at this link. Bluetooth Socket implements the closable interface, as shown at this path name. We don't analyze every detail of this code, just the parts we need to explain how Reentrant Read-Write Locks work. Bluetooth Socket's constructor creates a Reentrant Read-Write Lock and stores it in the mLock data member. The Bluetooth socket close method releases any system resources it holds. Although only the first call to close has any effect, it's safe to call close multiple times concurrently on the same object. When close runs, it first acquires a read lock on mLock, executes some operations that examine the state of the socket, and returns if it's already closed, unlocking the read lock as it returns. If the socket's not already closed, close acquires a write lock sets the Bluetooth socket state to closed, releases the resources, and unlocks the write lock as it returns. Multiple threads can acquire mLock for reading at the same time, but only one thread at a time can acquire mLock for writing, thereby ensuring readers writer lock semantics. In summary, a Java reentrant read-write lock allows greater concurrency when accessing shared data than a reentrant lock, as discussed at this link. 
Reentrant Read Write Lock exploits the fact that while only a single writer thread can modify the shared data at a time, often any number of reader threads can concurrently examine the data. However, speedups from Reentrant Read Write Lock will only be fully realized on a multi core or multi processor system, and then only if the access patterns for shared data are suitable. Profiling and measurement can be used to determine if a Reentrant Read Write Lock is suitable for a particular use case. This link presents a pattern language for selecting among various locking primitives for concurrent programs. In addition to the acquisition order fairness policy discussed earlier in this video, Java Reentrant Read Write Locks also support recursive lock semantics, lock downgrading from a write lock to a read lock, and interruption of lock acquisition. Finding a compelling use case for Reentrant Read Write Locks is hard in Android, where they're used sparingly. Clearly, Optimizing the performance of the Bluetooth socket close method doesn't do justice to a Reentrant Read Write Lock and its power as a scalable synchronization mechanism for parallel processing. Further discussion of Reentrant Read Write Locks and their broader applicability appears at this link.